students love being able to like dream of something and then just print it. I think 3D printing kind of merges that creative mind of the student and the problem solving mind because they have to think about how the 3D printer works, how the layers are built upon one another. 3D printing utterly really changed the way that the students value their digital objects. When they create something and they build it in the, in the virtual world, they were just kind of like, yeah, okay, whatever, it's digits, it gets deleted, I don't care. But when it gets printed out, they care about it more. I bought a Lowe's last year, one of the minis. It is my go-to printer. You just stick it on your desk and plug in the laptop and download Kira and it comes with this file and you print the file. Look, I just made this, I just made this. The Lowe's is usable in almost all subjects. We use 3D printers specifically in graphic design, digital media, which is video, and photography. We do it in science class. I had a student who designed a Bohr molecule. Somebody designed some DNA strands coming up, just the double helix pattern. They've made parts to fix drill presses. They're working with a prototyping company to build real products that will be then investment cast and sent out. It's really a project-based curriculum with the Lulzbot. My experience with Lulzbot is they're solid printers. They, they just, they work. The support has been awesome. They actually answer the phone <laughs> and they walk me through the problem. I would recommend if a teacher has no idea what a 3D printer is, find somebody who is nearby them in another school, find a makerspace in another school, and really see what other people are doing with it. There's a lot of 3D printers out there. I've experienced a lot, and none of them are at all as good as you know the open source little spot.